Hey everyone, hey everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to, to Five Minute Eats, and we are continuing on with a brand that we have been trying. Today we have the Dog and Suds Drive-In Style Cream Soda. This is a one liter for 99 cents, and it is bottled right here in Chicago, Illinois. So Dog and Suds, man, we've been doing a bunch of their drinks, mm -hmm. and it's interesting because for 99 cents you get a one liter, and this brand used to be at one point back many decades ago, the largest chain in America, supposedly. And the thing about them was is they were very similar to a Sonic. It's like a drive-in and they were known for their root beer and their food. But unfortunately the brand is dying out. There's not many locations across the country. There's one here in Illinois. I know there's one in California. The rest of them are in the middle of nowhere, it seems like. So this is a dying brand, man. So we came across their drinks, we gotta do it. And for the most part, there's potential there. Unfortunately, one issue we're dealing with, mm -hmm. carbonation. These drinks seem to be needing more carbonation. We're not sure if it's leaking out because they're sitting on the shelf for so long, or maybe mm -hmm. there just isn't any coming from the factory, mm -hmm. but cool packaging. Yes, and this one is gold. I feel like yeah. this is very jazzy. And this is right up your alley because you love cream soda. Yep. Me, not so much, but we've done in our archives an entire week dedicated to cream soda. We got a playlist. So if you like cream soda, you want to know which ones we recommend, definitely check out our archives. And guys, if you're new to our channel, basically we review every day grocery items. So before you spend your hard earned money, let us tell you if it's worth it. I feel like this doesn't smell as strongly as I would expect. Yeah. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. Guys, welcome back our rating system. Thumbs up by it again, thumbs down we would not. So for me, this is a thumbs down. This is interesting because I kind of like the cream soda, but I feel like it didn't mix well with the water. Hmm. It's a little too syrupy and the aftertaste, I think is a little, a little sour. Hmm. It's really a shame because initial taste, you're like, wow, this is pretty damn good cream soda. Also, as other drinks need more carbonation, maybe the carbonation would fix all of that. Hmm. Unfortunately, it doesn't have it. Thumbs down. If you like what we're doing here, please consider sending us super thanks. It helps us continue to provide more amazing content. All right. For me, this one is going to be a thumbs down. They almost had it, man. They almost had it. Again, the carbonation is the biggest issue that this company seems to face with their sodas. It's really a shame that whatever this Clover bottling company is, they're doing something wrong or, or something because something's going wrong with this carbonation. But the flavor, pretty good. I do feel like the aftertaste is a little, you said sour, I don't know if I would say sour, but it's kind of just off. Like, like there's just something not quite cream soda about it. But as it's going over your tongue and you're tasting it, it's really good. Like it has that classic cream soda flavor, but then the lack of carbonation, the kind of weird aftertaste, it just kind of kills it, which is just a shame because I think that they're really onto something with a lot of their flavors. Yeah. They just, they drop the ball somewhere along the way though. I think the problem is maybe the carbonation is leaking out because I want to believe that's what it is because it seems like, because we've done a few of their drinks like the black cherry, mm -hmm. which I'm not a big fan of black cherry, but I was really impressed with that one. Yeah. But the carbonation is a constant problem. I wish they would put expiration date very clearly instead of using code because yes. I think that would help. Yes, because it's coded so there's literally no way for us to know when it actually expires. It's still on the store shelf and I feel like if, if there's a coded date, then the onus should be on the store or whoever's coming to stock it to make sure that they're not selling expired The government stuff. should make it illegal for places, companies to get away with using code for yes. their expiration date. Because what exactly is the point of using a code if to not defraud the customer? Yeah. To sum it up, thumbs down, thumbs down. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.